Alright people, welcome back. More of I'm in Y. So today it's Friday, and that means of course we are using Supervised Eval. So uh, I think I think out of all the decks that I've been struggling with when it comes to, you know, the level chain being banned, I think this one's the worst. This is because it makes me so much slower and inconsistent that it's like I don't even want to play the deck, you know? So of course I need to keep my consistency up, because this deck's consistency was always a little bit shaky, but then I can make it up by the fact that, you know, all I need to do is just get pretty much two, three sends. You know, sometimes I send the E Bell, most of the time just get that Doom Shaman, get that Tinker, let's sync it up, you know? But now I'm just so much slower. So we're just gonna go try to go back to our roots and open up like trash. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to go ahead and try out since, you know, I was getting hit with back row and shit before is, you know, go ahead and try out trap stun. Uh, relying more on Doom Shaman, so I took out, you know, some of the revival cards and... <sighs> I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. Yeah, thank you for that. Thanks. Go ahead, have fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a fucking window at your ass and you're not gonna be able to summon. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I already hate shit alls, but come on. Fuck. Uh, that duel is gonna go nowhere. Johnny, get the fuck away from me, you fucking stalker. Like, no, I don't want to duel shit alls. Like, not even at all. Not even remotely. Even if I did open up well, I don't want to duel against shit alls. Hate that deck. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm, I'm running cards like Mr. Tomato for the sending. I'm running cards like Pobby All. You're getting. The deck is just shaky now. It really is, you know? It'd be so much easier if I could just go ahead and just make a little level chain, but can't do that anymore, so. And tomato is so much slower than, you know, just summoning and sending. I gotta wait until my, my opponent kills it by battle. Like, and it's not like there's any other cards that can help me either. It's just Armageddon Knight and Dark Graffer. That's it. I can't even use Mathematician. That's, that, that's the real kicker there. I can't even use fucking Mathematician. Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take the tomato and crash into him and then summon it and attack him with the Armageddon Knight, who will also get an additional send. Why not? You got enough Armageddon Knights, but it's fine. So, it's also got Foolish, so I can send two out of the three monsters that I need, so it's not terrible. It's not, it's not terrible. We'll go ahead and send Doom Shaman. Then, like I said, in this deck, I'm, I rely on Doom Shaman a lot more. Uh, I decided for the trap stunts and shit, I just actually decided to check out Limit Reverse, which of course is great with you, Bell. But Limit Reverse isn't really good with anybody else, and with the high amount of revival that I have for Doom Shaman, such as Swing, Silent Doom, Calls, and Wasted Sit, and I really want to go ahead and summon Terror, I could just do it through Doom Shaman. So, like I said, I actually sat there and I was just debating on how to fix this deck, and <sighs> the snuggles are real. The snuggles are real. It's funny because someone actually uh, commented on the video and asked me, you know, what's my personally what I think is the best Ebola deck, and I was going to say Supervise, but. And I did say Supervise, and he's like, I'll keep on that look at him for it, and, you know, look what I'm presenting him. Fucking slow ass tomato, and. Not much, not much, I must say. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the, the attack on. I'll crash. Get my effect, which of course goes off during the damage stuff. I'm gonna get a knight. I'm gonna get a knight effect when he is a summoned. Guess I'll go ahead and drop Tinker. So now we're we're kind of set up. We got we got two out of the three. Like I said, the bell is nice and it's more of a defensive route. You know, uh, definitely the first thing I want to go ahead and send Doom Shaman Tinker to go the more offensive route first, unless you know. Usually, unless I open up with Liver Reverse or something like that, so we'll go ahead and set these two. So, you know, generally people hit me with, you know, the back row after I've done all my plays, after I've done my, my plays. So that's why I went with a Trap Stun. It's because I'll, I'll usually go, you know, Call the Haunted or Oasis, right? Summon Doom Shaman. That's our resolve. And then you're like, oh, bomb. It's like, no, Trap Stun. Like, get your dirty hands off my Doom Shaman. So, probably scooped it up, which is fine. And then this is also another one of the problems. That then I start draw after I start as I'm done sending, I start drawing into more senders instead of more revivals. Look at that. It's just a really hard deck to get in balance. Oh, hold on. Alright, my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm expecting a phone call from my mums. Uh, I'll talk more detail about it on you know, today's daily duels, but yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to keep my phone on me, because it's kind of important. Anyway, let's go ahead and try. Uh, it's just hard. I need a balance of revival, but then I need a balance of sending, and, and it's just, it's just 
is hard. This hand is actually really good. I can go ahead and drop the Doom Shaman, which is great. I have the Tinker in my hand. Of course, Doom Shaman can summon the Tinker out of my hand. Another thing that I'm trying is that I'm running two Doom Shamans just because it seems like if I get bottomless, I lose. And, you know, I don't want to happen like last time. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> we probably did go to the same high school. I mean, you brought, you brought up Clark, then yeah. Yes, yes, that's it. Except I started YouTubing after high school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, did you recognize me? <laughs> yeah, I, I I think it was like school ended, and I think like not even a week after I got out of high school, I started this YouTube channel, and it's been three years because I was it was like right after school, right after my 18th birthday. Yeah, five days after my 18th birthday because my birthday is on the eighth, my anniversary is on the 13th of June. It's been three years. I'm now 21. I'm an old man. I sure feel like it. So, well, that's cool. I'm glad that he recognizes me. I, I, I still don't know who he is. He hasn't stated his name. And I'm not sure if I remember. I don't like, I don't, I don't like, I didn't like high school. It was a miserable time. I was one of them kids that was unpopular. Definitely unpopular. Tons and tons of rumors about me. And they weren't even good, you know, and they were just rumors about things that I didn't ever do, like, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm terrible with the ladies. Surprise. <laughs> I played you with a scrubby chaos deck, I think, one time. Jesus, that's such a vague name, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I, I'm sorry, I am so sorry. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> it's been like, been at least three years, <laughs> and uh, I don't remember playing much Yu-Gi-Oh in high school. I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't remember. Let's go ahead and activate Pot. Terrible, terrible rooms. That's the one. That's the one of the things I was worried about with Doom Shaman, of course. Ooh, that trap stun's looking so pretty. Looking so pretty. I'll go ahead and take the trap stun. I was thinking about taking the foolish just because, you know, the race is stuck and just go ahead and, you know, you bell it up, but I think I'll go ahead and take some trap stuns. You know, I'm not popular with the ladies and I was I was a gentleman, but you know, it just seems like people like talk <laughs> I remember senior year. Senior year. I think. <sighs> so vague. Because the only time that I really like, chilled and ate breakfast in the morning was senior year. Because senior year is, of course, the chillest year. I mean, that's the chillest year for everybody. But damn, so hard to remember. <laughs> I mean, uh, space wise, I'm not in one. Uh, yeah. No, I, I wasn't into football. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't remember. Nope, nope. That doesn't help. Did I shuffle my deck after I used pot? I'm so caught up in this conversation about him talking to me about high school and talking about high school. I don't like talking about high school. I did not enjoy myself, but uh, girls would be like, oh yeah, Daniel's such a pervert. He touched me appropriately. Like, woman, I don't even know you, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> so, nah. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, I never went to any school dances. Got rejected by every single girl I asked, and I asked out like three or four girls each year. So, uh, I don't want to talk about high school. We're focusing on Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, but I was about to say before you use your effect, just know you can't. So, oh, that wasn't the best of Mills. They're the best of mills, and they are the worst of mills. I'm gonna close this. Not because I, you know, I want to close it on them, but right now I'm trying to pay attention to this duel. So I guess I'll go ahead and I guess I'll go ahead and make a Bills, because Bills is love. Bills is life. Even if he has an honest, it's still Bills. So uh, I don't want to reveal what my back row is, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do the Doom route. 
and of course survive Doom Shaman. So, Druid Ultimate Nightmare, which is no surprise there. Use my normal summon for effect. Effect. I'm glad I opened up with uh, Tinker. Well, if I didn't open up with Tinker, then of course I would have grabbed the Foolish. Which is, I'm just so much slower. Ah, oh, I would love to go into you. I mean, you, but I have you in my hand. Unless I get Dark Greffer, you're kind of just stuck there. So we'll go ahead and go Tinker Effect. Like I said, right now, I don't know what deck is. I see Light Sword, so, you know, there's no wrong answer with going into Abeals against Light Swords, because, you know, that's just an awesome choice. So we'll go ahead and attack, even if you have the Honest, that's fine. Like I said, even if you have the Honest, you're still going to get fucked up, so that's all that matters. I can't be destroyed by battle, so. So that's one health point. So now I'm 4,000, so thank you for that. Uh. Since I'm getting, I didn't attack, I guess I'll go ahead and turn into defense mode. The only, only thing that. Okay, but the only thing that sucks now is that I'd have to worry about. You know, him pitching and. Because now he can use his uh, Luminous Effect. He can go Luminous Effect, pitch, and then grab back a Lumina. So, I guess you're going to go ahead and go Lumina Effect and. One, two, three. Oh, it's like a Chaos Dragon deck. Okay. I'm about to say, are you going to tribute your Curry Bandit, or are you just going to just mill it up for me? <laughs> and did you even mill any smaller traps? Alright, you went one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. How many cards are you excavating? You milled like. What the fuck? Look, look how many cards you're milling. Okay, I'm about to say. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. You just didn't tribute first, so I guess you're gonna go ahead and grab the MST? Oh, you're not. I don't know what the fuck you're doing now. You. This is stupid. I have no idea what my opponent here is doing. What the fuck is he doing? During opponent's turn, you can banish this card, then excavate the top card. So, instead of excavating, he's just gonna draw it and kind of sneak set it, like... <sighs> There's no point in trying to fucking understand what my fuck would just happen, but whatever. Whatever. That's fine. Seriously, sometimes DM just has too much freedom. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You're all up in your deck. You return five, shuffle your deck, draw a card. It's not that simple. I mean, that's simple. It is that simple. It's not that difficult. Holy crap. Ugh. It's cool that someone recognized me. Yeah. No surprise, you're, you know, Simo. And both Simo and me are both Vegas YouTubers. We've met a couple of times. I don't know what you're doing anymore. I'm so fucking lost. You're in your own fucking world right now. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to your grave. You should be paying attention to your grave. Did you excavate one? So stupid! Oh! 
<sighs> See, and this is why, well, I don't hate Dion, it's just I hate the people on Dion. You know, if, if everybody on Dion was fucking com competent, then it wouldn't be a problem. It would not be a problem, but because everybody is not competent, you gotta deal with this. And, of course, one of the best things that comes from being on Dion is babysitting. I hate babysitting on Dion, but I constantly have to do it. Main phrase one. Nigga, oh my god. Just put it back. I don't even care. Just put it back. Please, I want to continue this duel. We're literally sitting here forever waiting for you to fucking resolve a goddamn pot of avarice. Pot of avarice. Jar of avarice. But you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, come on. Please hurry up. I can't even continue. That's the thing. I can't even continue my plays until he's resolved that. Thank you. Send it to the grave. Thank you. I'm going to use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Consume some tinker. Go ahead and sync it up. Uh, let's go ahead and go into definitely Crimson Blader. Perfect. Do I want a Dark Reffer? Mmm. Wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I'll take a Dark Reffer. You go ahead and go to Attack Mode. I'm going to Battle Phase. We'll go ahead and have Crimson Blader kill your Lumina. Act. No summy sum summon summon summy summon summon next turn. I'll go ahead and I'm I'm gonna get a night poke you for fourteen. This is gone. That is gone. My bad. I get those mixed up. Call of Hunting Oasis, but when a monster leaves the field, destroy this card. So unless I see with it, it's, it's gone. Attack. Four thousand. Watch and type three thousand. Even though you know bills is four thousand, you can't. You. Have a card on the table. Also, Beals is four thousand. That's not even an optional effect. That's actually mandatory. Bills has to gain that attack. Uh, so take an additional ticket, so, so, no, there you go, go ahead. So, this turn, Crimson Blader, locking it down, you cannot summon any level 5s or higher, because I already saw that BLS, and I know how much you would love to summon him, but no, fuck that nigga BLS, he could easily turn the door around, just summon, banish my fucking bills, and uh, I still have my Crimson Blade, but my Crimson Blade, of course, cannot run over that BLS, so. This Knuckles will still be the realist. Top of man, Regeki's not gonna save him. Wow, he's gonna set another. Do you have to be on the field to resolve your effect? I guess, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he does. Because I'm assuming this is a Raikou. And, if I, of course, if I go attack and he goes Raikou destroy me. I'm not sure if Crimson Blade has to be on the field to resolve his effect or not. I know Goya Guardian does. Hmm. Should look that up. I, I want to look it up, but then I don't want my opponent to leave and quit. Because this is definitely going to be the last duel of this video. I embarrass myself on YouTube talking about my high school life like. There is not a lot of people I still associate with in high school. I'd say maybe four, five. Let's see. Yeah. Talk to him occasionally. Talk to him occasionally, occasionally. Talk to him like once a year. I think that's it. Three people. Three people. Which is funny because I'll actually go back and visit my high school and visit my teachers before I even, you know, uh, talk to one of my, uh, 
fellow class, well, well, alumni, I guess? I don't know. Mm. Fucking, fucking high school sucked. <laughs> That's it. Moral of the story. High school sucked. I'm going to go ahead and discard to the grave. Special shotgun. This is the main phase one, of course. I am not normal summoned, which is awesome. So we're actually going to get to use an XC monster that doesn't get used too oftenly. But it's nice in here. Effect. Second effect. Second effect. Summon me a normal monster, i.e. Doom a Shaman. Use my normal summon for effect. Because I have not normal summon, because I special summon the Dim Shaman by pitching the terror, which is awesome. Synchro Shokan. Into. Ah! Void over. Your fact. Show me the money. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. So we'll go ahead and go into battle phase. So let's go ahead and see if it is Raikou or not. All Dragon. It's the same thing. Uh, you don't destroy, you return. If you destroy it, then it, it, it returns. If you destroy it, then that wouldn't have done shit. And if it was called Mata, that wouldn't have done shit. But because it's a dragon, you get to go ahead and bounce me, then yeah, I'll also go ahead and return. That's fine. I mean, you lose anyway, so... Okay, that's it. I don't need Beals to be strong. I got a motherfucking Void Ogre. Uh, excuse me. So is that it? Is that game? And then I still have Crimson Blade locking your ass down. I said I should go ahead and look that up. Sure. Alright, so before we end this video, I'm gonna go ahead and look it up real quick and come right back. Alright, I looked it up, yeah. He has to remain on the field, so, for example, if he would've went and used his dragon effect, or it was a Raikou or something on my Crimson Blader, it seems like Crimson Blader's effect resolved after the battle has resolved, that's when his effect goes off, so, just like Glorial Guardian, he has to remain on the field to resolve his effect, so. There we go, because I was wondering if I went, like, you know, Crimson Blader attack, and when he flipped in, it was Raikou, and Raikou popped me, would I, get, would I still get the effect to lock him down next turn? The answer is no. So, it didn't really matter anyway, still had the duel, but... Anyway, so, as you guys know, there is no Vitamin Y on the weekends. It's just Monday through Friday, so this week of Vitamin Y is over. Like I said, just, I did some plays, but didn't they did, uh, tell me, tell me the truth. Did they seem lackluster, kind of slow? Like, and, and that last, I opened up really well. Didn't it still just seem kind of slow? I don't know. Like I said, it seems like I could have went a lot faster if I had a little, little chain, but hey, you know, especially the Summoner Monk. Like, I'm, I'm still even debating on whether I'm running Summoner Monk or not, because it's what? I summon Summoner Monk, pitch a spell, summon a monster to go ahead and get my setup. So I get rid of my, one of my revival cards for one of my setup cards. So depending on which point in the duel, it's better or worse. And, you know, usually it'd be great. Just Summoner Monk, pitch, summon, send. Go into the level train, detach, send. So it's like a two-for-one special. But now it's just like, I don't even know who I even want to exceed into. You know, there's no one really in my toolbox that's, you know, a standard enabler. You know, not even, in, and in this deck, it's not like I run Mass Chameleon. Usually I might run Mass Chameleon, but I don't run Mass Chameleon in this particular Evo deck. Majority of them I do. This one I don't, because Mass Chameleon can't really do anything besides with Ye Bell, you know. So, Mass Chameleon's on this deck, which means I'm not running King of the Fair Lamps. There's just not, a, not enough, uh, you know, enablers for rank 4. Like I said, a Wobble Chain, sometimes Emerald, depending on what time it is in the duel, but generally, eh. King of Feral Imps, Gear Guide X, there's not a lot. They're mostly just responding cards. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to respond to you with Castell. There's not a lot of cards that you just want to go into to either gain resources or get yourself set up that are rank 4. So, like I said, I don't know. I'm not even sure if I even want to keep Summoner Monk just because it's like Summoner Monk, Pitch, Summon, and then what? You know, XC into who? Whom? I don't know. Like I said, uh, for next week, for webcam duels next week, I'm... Definitely planning on doing, I mean, my live video, I'm definitely planning on doing webcam duels. I've, I've been tweaking two different decks that I've been planning on maybe adding to Vitamin Y, but I want to see uh, one being Evil Hero Yubao. You know, I've been 
working on that, which kind of sucks because it got hurt a little bit because, you know, the rock part of it, you know, Evil Heroes, they run rock for one of the fusion. The rock engine definitely uses, you know, the go-go-goes and, you know, rank four, so I can't even make a law trend even send you bells, so, you know, but eh, it's not as bad because if I draw a form of bell, I can always just pitch it with and fuse with it as a form, so that's not terrible. Um, it runs trag and gores and stuff and, you know, stuff like that. And then my other one is an Umber Bell, which of course, that's also a rank 4 attack. So I can't make a little chain, but you know, uh, I can go ahead and uh, I actually decided to add more Bite and variety into the deck. And you know, Mega Chaos will love this. It actually runs up, a rank up. So uh, maybe we can see some rank up plays with that deck as well. So um, I might just leave it up to you guys. Go ahead and tell me which one would you rather see for this upcoming webcam duels on uh, Thursday. Would you rather see Evil Hero you bell or uh, 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 Umber you bell? You know, because I, I was watching a couple Umber decks and they didn't even go into the wall chain. They didn't even run the wall chain because uh, you know they relied on you know Mystic Tomatoes and Armageddon Knights. So they didn't even need the wall chain to do the additional sending. So it seems like I'll be okay with that deck. But uh, maybe in the end, the decks that might get temporarily taken off, i.e. Uh, Labradite Ubel, uh, uh, Ubel Xyz, and, uh, and uh, Supervised Ubel, those, might, those three might get temporarily taken off until I see the necklace and you know, cross my fingers while the chain comes back, just because I'm hoping that it's just being banned just for worlds. Because I, I just still, I just don't understand why a card goes from three to banned and it didn't even do nearly as much. Not even close. I mean, you're, you're comparing Lavalo Chain to shit like Spellbook of Judgment to Super Rejuve to even cards that, you know, the Jin release their rituals, you know, to even cards that should definitely, can't even be at one, that should definitely ban that didn't get on the hit, like Royal Magical Library. Like, uh, uh, like, see the shit that's being done and you're comparing Lavalo Chain to them? Like, Shit, not even Super Poly, you went fucking three to ban. Not even Stratos went three to ban, you know. They're, they're, you must be fucking super bad to go three to ban, but... Like I said, I just think... I think it's just Worlds, because they don't want what happened last Worlds to happen this Worlds, where, you know, some deck exploits the fact that the level chain's a really good card. Or, and if that's not true, and they actually want the level chain to be banned, then... I'll just deal with it accordingly, but for right now, I think that, you know, the temporary break and the temporary change to Vitamin Y... Um, might be a little bit refreshing because it's, it's just getting a little bit frustrating with where I'm running all these combo-esque decks like, you know, Labradite, Ubel, Xyz, and Superbike, where I'm sending more than just Ubel, and I, I can't get set up fast enough and I end up getting crushed, and it really sucks. So, <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it episode. So, uh, anyway, <laughs> the good news is, of course, awesome news is that League starting tomorrow. So, this time tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific time, tomorrow, League starts, and then, of course, you get another video at 2, and then Sunday, video at 12, video at 2. Uh, so, be sure to support the League. So, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for all the support. And, yeah, I will see you guys next week on Monday with a deck that doesn't need a wall chain. It's actually been doing really well since we uh, worked it and tweaked it, and and that is Udall Archains. So, all right, people. Thanks for watching.